Welcome back to Elden Ring. It's time to talk to the Turtle God and learn lots and lots of new spells. We have so many scrolls to give them. Greetings. I can show them the Celestial Dew as well. Prayer books. Okay, let's give them the prayer book. I'm curious if they're going to react to it like the other person reacted to everything I handed them saying, This is heresy. Fine, I'll take it. Fire Monk's prayer book. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. See, this person's a lot more chill. I like that. Give a scroll. We have three. Conspectus, Royal House, and Academy. Conspectus. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn. Heresy is not all things. Royal house. Oh, what? Very well, let us heresy all things. I guess these are all heretical? Academy scroll. Oh, what? Very well, let us heresy is not all things. Show celestial dew. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this church of vows. Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Hunala. The order of the Erdri and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. About the miracle. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. I don't think I have any bonds that are strained, so I probably shouldn't do that. Kind of curious, though. Can we talk further? My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished. I hope that you, too, will share my faith. About Radigan. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. About Renala. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, when the Academy rebelled against the Royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Study sorcery. Oh, that is a lot to buy. Okay, Swift Glintstone Shard. I mean, let's just buy everything. Great Glintstone Shard. I am gonna need a lot of money. A lot of money. Like, 
30 plus thousand runes. But I actually might have enough for that. That's every single one that I have. Well, let's buy the ones that I can actually use first. So this is the only one I can't use, actually. Glintstone Comet Shard takes 36 int of 31. But yeah, okay, the majority of these spells I can actually use. It's great. Carrion Greatsword. Let's buy the little ones. Carrion Slicer, Glint Blade Phalanx. I feel like I already have that, but it's cheap, so whatever. I'll buy it. Star Shower. Fire six shooting stars that pursue foes. Ooh, that sounds good. Magic Glint Blade. Great sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay. Alright, that's all of them except the one that I can't even use. Alright, there's a chest over here as well. By the way, the servers are running maintenance right now, so I can't log in. So I'm offline, so no messages will appear. Which is a little nerve-wracking, to be honest. Gold sewing needle. Golden tailoring tools. Does that allow me to make more alterations to more armor? Special sewing needle for demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radigan when he entered into marriage with Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, and joined the Carrion line. Am I wearing demigod attire? I have no idea. I don't think I have anything to atone for. But I kind of want to do it anyway, because... I don't know. Holding on to stuff is usually not a good idea. Because then that just means I never use it. Can I jump on their back? Oh no! I'm sorry. It did two points of damage to them. I didn't think I would hurt them by jumping on their shell. They're a turtle. Are you okay? Please come out. Are you quite finished? Take this opportunity to learn to master your emotions. Worry not, I take no offense. But others are not always so forgiving. Some take to anger, others sorrow. Bonds are fragile things, won't to break under strain. And once they're broken, everything is lost, with naught to gain. Thank you. And hey, what they said rhymed. I'm going to atone. You don't need absolution. Okay, good. All right, so about the spells. I was going to show you footage of me testing each individual one, or maybe just sit at the screen and talk about spells for 10 minutes without doing anything, but I thought both approaches would be pretty boring to watch. So instead, I think I'll just show you what I've learned through normal play and experimentation. Uh, for the most part, I do want to explain one thing that I've realized looking at all these spells. It seems like there's three categories of offensive sorceries. There's melee, ranged without a gimmick, and ranged with a gimmick. The melee attacks seem to be the most efficient in terms of FP cost versus the damage that they do, probably because they put you close to danger, because you have to be close to the opponent. A little bit less efficient are your ranged without a gimmick attacks, kind of your normal attacks, your main attacks which seem to be the glintstone shard ones. So I'm going to be using the great glintstone shard because it's just more powerful than the glintstone pebble that I've been using. There's also the um, swift glintstone shard, which I don't think I'm going to be using. It has a little bit of a gimmick in the sense that it's very fast, so it would be good at hitting moving opponents. Um, but I think I have other spells that will take the place of that and allow me to hit fast opponents, I hope. So I'm not going to use it. So I think I'm just going to use Great Glintstone Shard as my main attack. Um, the third category is ranged with a gimmick, which is stuff like the Glint Blade Phalanx, Magic Glint Blade, and Star Shower. So you're paying 
extra for both being a projectile and also having some special gimmick about it. So that makes them the least efficient. So these are ones that I would probably want to use very situationally. But my main attack, I think, is going to be Great Glenstone Shard. And the Carrion Greatsword is a melee attack, so it's very efficient. But it also has quite a long range, so I'm thinking this might take the place of Glintstone Arc. Kind of. It doesn't go as far as Arc, but I'm hoping it'll take its place. We'll see. Let's just play. Let's experiment around with these. Alright, back to here. Yeah, not going through that teleporter this time. Let's try out Top's Barrier. Ah! Yeah! How long does it last for? Well, not that long, apparently. <laughs> Let's try Carrion Greatsword. Oh, look at that damage! And it's only 14 FP. It is good for groups, for sure. You can see it's quite a wide attack, but it's definitely not the same as the Glenstone Arc. It's not going to go through the air. So, hmm, I kind of want the Arc back. We'll see how I feel about it later. A door that actually opens from this side. Oh, see the great sword would be great against these two, I think. Oh, this is a shortcut. Yeah. Yeah, we've already been up there. Okay. Up or down? I always hope they go up, but expect them to go down. dramatic room. Oh right, there's no messages, so I really do need to try and hit things to see if there's secret passages. This feels like it's a boss room. Is this a boss room? Oh god, I think it is. Here we go.
Little Calva. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. I, whoa, I did not expect to fight them so fast. Uh, there's a lot going on. It's dripping fire, all of these students, acolytes, whatever they are, crawling on the ground, shooting the occasional thing at me. Shooting books at me, ah, burning me. Ugh. Trying to bite me? <laughs> Giggling? Oh, they're so creepy and... Oh, God, look at that! Oh, I love them! They're creepy and cute. Bite me again! Hump. Okay, how hard are you to kill? Oh, they're very easy. Oh my god, what the hell? Ah! Oops. I am messing up everything. I have a lot of new spells. Great glenstone shard, okay. Can I even, like, hit you? You're, you're, in, a, you're in a bubble, so probably not. No, I need to break their bubble, maybe by killing all of these little ones? Shouldn't have hit that. Oh no, are more coming? Where are they falling down from? I want to see the source of all of them. Yeah, more are just coming. Is this... is this something? No. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Their bubble's all cracked. Is it cracking for me um, hitting the students? You look special, maybe... Oh yeah, I just heard it crack. I need to hit the special ones. Oh, I'm out of, like, all resources. Oh, 
what an interesting fight. Okay, they're bubbled again. Oh no. New phase. Uh um what's happening? Okay. Turn into I don't know what those were, marble somethings and then used as projectiles. You just killed your own. All right, where's the special one? There you are. forgot about that. I really doubt this will be the end of the fight. Like, they, have, they must have another phase, right? Oh my god! With wild strikes, you can get them down in one cycle. But I'm sure there's another phase. Like, that must be what this is, right? This is so cool. Oh, what an arena! Oh, 
damage. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. This is such a cool arena and boss and their spells. It is an honor to be killed by them. <laughs> And I am so excited with the fact that I can one-cycle their first phase. Oh my god, that is satisfying. Okay, I feel like it would be poetic to use Top's Barrier to defeat Renala. I want to test it out. Okay, didn't block that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Ah, oh, damn you. You and your backing up. Okay, that does not do much damage, does it? Yeah, magic is not the way to go against them. Oh no! Whoa. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, okay, that's a problem. That's a real big problem. Okay, I'll just ignore it, I guess? Sure, ignore the giant, everything will be fine. Oh, it's gone! Okay, it's temporary. Oh, temporary dogs!
Puppers, no! Puppers, no! I'm a dog lover! Yes, I've killed 200 dogs. I still love dogs. I swear. Okay, they're gone. Oh. No, they're summoning again. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, clearly this tactic is not working. They're just summoning infinitely. Ah! Hitting them once did not despawn the wolves. No, 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 no! <gasps> uh. Wow, we got to the summoning stage real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna try Kukri's. Ah! Oh fuck, I meant to heal. One sec. There. No, wrong button. Sorry, fumbling. Oh, come on, hit! <laughs> I can't even hit them with a kukri. There we go. Oh, they didn't like that. Okay, let me try the holy pot. Oh, that's terrible. But they're done summoning, so actually this is great. I mean, they'll probably go right back to summoning, but we'll see. Ah, damn it. Oh my god! What? No! What's the range on these? Not this far. Puppers, no! Puppers, no! No, 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 no! They can smell my cats on me, they're like, this is a cat person, I where, 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 where. Oh, fuck. Okay, throwing stuff is not working. I need to just try to hit them. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. There will be opportunities to hit them. There already has been. 
There will be more. It's fine. It's slow, but I think it'll work. See, there's one. Nope, 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 nope. Maintaining my distance with that one. Puppers, okay. This is incredibly slow. This is like the slowest tactic ever, but it will work. Ow, ow. Fuck. Puppers, one of my favorite. One of my favorites, probably my favorite one. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I should just magic them. I know it does terrible damage, but... Oh, they're so close. Let's finish with a melee. Gotcha. My dear Weave thy night into Oh. My god. That last part of that last phase was painful, but I did it. I'm sure there's a faster way to do that last part, but oh man. That was such a cool boss. I loved that. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty. 
thither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones? To be better born anew. I can talk with them now? They're not dead? Uh, hold on, let me get this. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg? Oh, is this rerolling our stats? Rebirth. Use a larval tear to accept rebirth. No, thank you. Cosmetics. Oh, so you can also change what you look like. You can also do that at the mirror. At the round table hold. Be not alarmed. Nor afeared. I would birth thee as a sweeting. Fair and fine. Thank you. It's locked. Ooh. I wonder if their remembrance could be turned into a key. I had my only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. Oh, another scrotum. Thanks. Now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. That makes it sound like I'm at the end of the game, but I know I'm not. Wait, receive equipment of champions? What is that? <gasps> the Queen's armor. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay, um, Remembrance. What could that get us? Either a staff, which requires... <laughs> which requires 60 intelligence. Oh my god. That's incredible. Boosts full moon sorcery. Or a spell, which requires 70 intelligence. Incarnate a full moon and launch it at foes. Well, um, yeah, I'll be able to use that at the end of the game. Maybe. I'm not going to be able to use either of these forever, but I'm definitely keeping the remembrance. I'm not going to pop it. I definitely want the equipment. She was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood, the fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. 
Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Oh, I can buy the Flask of Wondrous Physic now. From the Twin Maiden Husks. Bestows various special effects. It's very cheap, too. A relic of the Physic Chemists, Priests of the Erd Tree. Harnesses the powers of Crystal Tears, which only form after the passage of many moons. Various special effects are bestowed upon the drinker, dependent on the specific mixture of Crystal Tears. Rest at a site of grace to replenish. Basins are placed at the feet of minor Erd Trees throughout the lands between in order to collect their crystallized tears. So minor Erd Trees are where I need to go to get their tears. Do I have anything I can mix into it? Um, I probably have to be at a side of grace to mix stuff. Oh, I need to empower the rune. The new rune that I have, right? Probably be key items. Yes, great rune of the unborn. Used to perfect rebirth. Ember egg clutched by Renala, queen of the full moon. Great rune of unborn demigods. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived. Imperfect beings, each and all. I guess that's what the... Creatures... People whatever they were i guess that's what the people were that were on the floor the frail and short-lived children of renala it doesn't say i need to power it up though so maybe that's not one of the ones i need to power up at well i assume it'd be powered up here but yeah i guess not this is open again I see you found another great rune. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Earth Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. I know exactly what I want for my third talisman. A talisman that I don't even remember when I got it. I might have had this for a while. Graven School Talisman. Raises potency of sorceries. A talisman depicting a school of graven mages. The Nightmare of the Academy. The primeval current is a forbidden tradition of glintstone sorcery. To those who cleave to its teachings, the act of collecting sorcerers to fashion them into the seeds of stars is but another path of scientific inquiry. The seeds of stars? I need to see how much that increases the potency. I have to do a little bit of testing on an enemy. Um, let's check out the armor. Significantly better special protection. Significantly worse physical. It's got very high focus and vitality. Bad other stuff. It's lighter as well. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's clearly better. Or worse. Kind of just a shift towards protecting you against magical things and less against physical things. How does it look? Hmm. I don't like it anywhere near as much as the blue cloth vest. This looks absolutely gorgeous. And follows my curves. And this is just... It's just wearing a bag. I mean, it's a pretty bag, but it's a bag. <laughs> it's a sack. How does it look with everything else?
Oh, you can't even see that. And what about the headpiece? Oh yeah, I'm definitely not wearing that. I'm sorry, but it's just not my style. It'd be funny if they commented upon the fact that I'm wearing their stuff. Art thou now assured of thy... Be not I would birth... No comment about the fact that I'm cosplaying as them. Yeah, no, I like the other stuff so much better. But how do the other things look with this chest piece? Well, okay, not the headpiece either. So headpiece and chest piece on the old stuff. How does this versus that look? Hmm, I like them both. This does have like a big pink stone in it, which I like. Mm, this is more cohesive, the warrior gauntlets. For sure. And how are the stats? Uh, yeah, pretty much the same. Like, as the last piece of armor. Not better or worse, just different and lighter. And what did I have on for... For the pants? The warrior greaves, right? Or did I not like those? I can't remember what I liked, but right now I think I prefer the carrion knight greaves. Assuming it's not putting me under heavy load, it's not. So that versus this is the special armor. You're not really meant to even see these, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I think this is a lot prettier. I'm sorry, but your outfit fits you. It doesn't fit me. Let's see if there's anything in this chamber. Like, can we continue from here? Yeah, there's nowhere to, to progress back there in the boss room. But back here, I did just find a little shortcut. Actually, not a shortcut, just an entirely new area. So this door could not be opened from the other side before. This leads to just across from that teleporter that took me to the god turtle. Yeah, back here. And there's a ladder that goes up. Hello. Let's just spam Great Glenstone Shard. Or maybe carrying greatsword? No, don't don't get close to that thing. What am I thinking? you get for trying to headbutt me with your stone face. I see. Glintstone Scarab? Don't I already have that? Or is this a different variety? 
Oh, it is different. Yeah, I had the Ash of War Scarab. Is it just a different color? Oh no, it does an entirely different thing. So this one reduces the FP cost of skills but increases damage taken. This one slightly reduces the FP cost of sorceries but increases damage taken. Hmm, so specifically sorceries. Well, unfortunately, I don't care how good it looks, or I mean how good it works, because it looks like this, and I'm not wearing that. <laughs> that is not pretty, I'm sorry. It's cool, but it's not pretty. And I'm a pretty bitch. Ooh. Oh, wait, that just leads down to the teleporter. We're still missing something. We're missing something in the academy still, and I don't know what. But there's something on the roofs, like item, an item we haven't gotten, a whole pathway that I haven't gotten. I don't know how to access it. Whoa, wait, what? I was trying to find the tur- Oh! I was trying to find the turtle. Bell bearing hunter. Oh, wow! They are cool! Well, I guess they got my bell bearings. Before I go back in there, let me mix wondrous physic. You can mix two crystal tears on the flask of wondrous physic. Let you create physics with various custom effects. You know what I just remembered? That has nothing to do with this at all, is that I bought three notes from a merchant last episode and I never read them. Oops. Steadily restores HP for a time in mixed physic. Temporarily boosts dexterity in mixed physic. Temporarily boosts faith. Significantly negates damage. Okay, well how about restore health? And negate damage. Is that it? Do I need to do something else? How many uses? One use. I get my own little bubble. Yee. Oh, the turtle's back. Okay. So only at nighttime does that enemy appear, huh? Wait. No? Hello? Is it a random encounter? I guess it's a random encounter. Damn. I am keeping my distance. One more. That should do it. No, 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 no! You... You coward. I think it must be because I either lost their aggro or got too far away from the church. Either way, what an absolute coward.
Don't want to get too far. Hello? <laughs> there you are. They have such cool moves. Gotcha. Meat Peddler's Bell Bearing. So given that they're a bell-bearing hunter, are we to believe that that person is a meat peddler, peddler or that they hunted a meat peddler and stole their bell-bearing? I want to, like, I want to say they're the meat peddler because they do seem very meaty. Like, they're very visceral with their attacks and they do bleeding or do they do bleeding? I'm actually not sure, but like, they're very red and their attacks are very like, brutal in a way that I imagine someone who deals with meat might be let's see what we can get with the meat peddler's bell bearing hmm wait bell bearing shop 2 no is it just oh it's just in the normal shop now I can now buy meat Lump of flesh, sliver of meat, and turtleneck meat. It's used for crafting. Uh, cool, I guess. <laughs> I, I can buy meat. <laughs> I was hoping to get their weapon, because it seems so cool. Well, I think I just solved one of the mysteries of the Rea Lucaria Academy. One of the th two things that I'm missing. And that's how to get down here. Remember where this wheel was and I could see there was a place to drop down to? It turns out you can actually jump on the outside of these wheels. I thought they would just kill me. But no. Yeah, I guess that's the intended path. I see you. No, don't grab me, please. Tail Cat Talisman. Oh, that's gonna be for fall damage, right? Renders the wearer immune to fall damage. A brooch depicting Lacrima, the long tailed cat. Um, renders the wearer immune to fall damage, however, it cannot prevent falling to one's death. 
The Grima features in the fables of Rhea Lucaria in which she is described as a fairy cat who is fond of playing in the Great Bell Tower. Aww. Okay, so if the fall would have done damage to you but not killed you, it will not do damage. But if it would have killed you, then it will still kill you. I think is how that works. Well, no reason to wear that, just like, generally. But I guess I could wear it instead of using cotton. I think I might prefer using cotton, though. Because then I don't have to switch my talismans back and forth. Ooh, there is more here. Lost Ashes of War. They lied to me! That's how you get over here! I don't... I mean, unless that's not the intended pathway. But... I feel like that is. The bloodstains and the messages said don't dare. But look, I just made it! Granted, it was by the skin of my teeth, but still. Okay, well, this solves the second mystery, I think. So now there's no more mysteries left. Let's just explore this one. That was a hell of a ladder. Full moon crossbow. Oh, that looks cool. That's how you get this item. That's what it kept teasing me for so long. Okay, we're still missing something, but let me take a look at the crossbow. One of a kind enchanted crossbow of exquisitely detailed craftsmanship. Made to celebrate the matrimonial union and reconciliation between the houses of the Erd Tree and the Full Moon, Lindell and Rhea Lucaria. The two rings dance when reloading the weapon. Reveals true worth when used with holy infused bolts. That looks so pretty. Oh, I wish I used bows. What does it take anyway? I mean, it takes strength, dex, and int. I can use it. There's no reason I can't. It's just... What's the point when I have magic, you know? Let's at least look at this thing. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at it. Oh, that is so cool the way it reloads. So instead of falling down there, let's see what's over here.
Bye. Someone's angry. Oh, I'm sorry. A Lazuli Glintstone Crown. So what does this one do? Whoa, 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 wait. Sounds like there's someone here. They sound disturbingly close. I'll check out the armor later. Okay, and then down there is where we've already been. Okay. Armor. Lazily. Increases intelligence and dexterity to the detriment of HP. So what does it give you? Yeah, it gives you... So both of these give you three intelligence. This gives you six intelligence. And this gives you three intelligence and three dex. And that, I think, is the last mystery of Rhea Lucaria. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, I'm going to read those notes that I purchased a long time ago from the merchant and explore someplace other than Rhea Lucaria, because I think we're done here. <laughs>